Hey kids, Jacktastic 3D here, bringing you a new series that I'm calling Diamond in the Rough. Yeah, no relation to Aladdin at all. <laughs> but uh, I've I found that one I've been wanting to do a series in every one of the Call of Duties I played, but I figured this might be a good start. And I find that in every one of the Call of Duties that I've played since Modern Warfare 2, that something's been motivating me. Um, to keep playing, uh, not just for the love of the game, I love the game, but I tend to have basically challenge myself in different ways, and for the most part, it's usually been prestige. Hey, can I, before the next COD comes out, can I finish the next prestige? Because unlike a lot of people on YouTube, I don't have a terrible amount of time to play. I usually play in the evenings, after family time, and, you know, that's a limited amount of time. And then I, I do a lot of other stuff outside of work. Uh, I do a podcast. I go out quite a bit with my family and just do a lot. So I, I just don't have as much time to invest. But the time I do invest, I like to challenge myself. And one of the challenges in this most recent one that I've liked outside of I am prestiging, but is the camos. Because what it does, and, and I appreciate this, is... It challenges me to play with guns that I maybe would not have played with and then try to get better with each of them. Um, I could take the very simplistic route and just use SMGs the entire time I play, which that uh, that group of guns I've actually got uh, diamond on. I went through those already. So you will not be seeing any videos on those. Um, but what I hadn't gone through were assault, and I've used assault ri rifles in every other Modern Warfare typically, but this one, so I said, well, you know what, why, why haven't I been using them? Um, and I tried a little bit in the beginning when I was trying to learn this game. I think the game, the first gameplay I actually posted, uh, well, that was a default class, but that was an assault rifle. Um, and I used the foul a little bit, um, because I liked it in some of the other games too. Um, I, I like the uh, long-range engagements, but this game I found that I'm having a lot more short-range engagements, so I started with the SMGs to just try to get better and, and to win games. It was getting frustrating, and uh, wanted to get that KD up so I didn't look like a total, uh, a total noob um, playing this game. So that leaves me at this. In this gameplay, I'm using the foul. I have gone through some of the first assault rifles that are uh, that are there. The Tar. Oh gosh, what was the other one? Uh, I just finished before this. Um, I don't even remember. And I'm going in order. So the first one's Foul, and then the next one is the M27, which is what I'm using now. And. The foul I like a lot, actually. Uh, a lot of power. Now, this is after the patch. Um, I like a lot. Uh, as you see in this video, though, I've already have the camos up to, I believe, the Cryptek, which basically at that point, for anybody who's been going for camos, knows that it's time to basically go no perks, no attachments, because you need to get 150 kills with none. And I found the best way to get gold is instead of just doing no perks and then getting 150 and then no attachments, is you know what, you suck it up like in this gameplay and you do both. And if you're halfway decent, you'll get you'll finish both at the same time. And you'll also hopefully build up some of the other ones, like your bloodthirsties. And then the one I hate most of all on the assault rifles are long shots. Ooh, revenge kills, I believe, and then there's uh, double kills, I think is the other one that you have to get. And for the most part, it's not too bad. It is definitely a change when you go from playing with, you know, perks, and a lot of the times I'll play with uh, a specialist style class, and I'll go with five perks, to no perks at all. <laughs> it's a reality check of how good you are, or their lack of, and um, a lot of times I suck ass. But I thought that might be actually kind of interesting for somebody who wanted to really see sort of a progression of somebody trying to get these camos, and in particular somebody who's not overly amazing, um, or overly that good, but not bad either. Um, I like to think I'm not horrible, but I'm, I'm not amazing. And in this game, I believe I go 33, 33 and something, um, using using this foul, no perks, no attachments, uh, so I, I don't have select fire, target find, or anything else on this. Um, 
and uh, yeah, trying to go for it. Now, the one thing you can do, though, is you can put it on a secondary, and you can put on the class I like to use, which is Danger Close, where it gives you two grenades, and then you can also go two tacticals. I love this right here with this diamond-plated RPG. Good job, DB. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and, I, and I've been playing around with what I've used. There's been a lot of times where I've gone uh, dual EMPs and... Um, dual sim texts, which seem to work pretty good. I've actually started switching up because the majority of the people I play with, we rush so much that I'm finding uh, bouncing Bettys to come in handy. I'll just throw them down in random places, like on this one, I'm throwing them down, you know, on B right there. And then um, also where they come up through the bottom, I found useful. Uh, but then again, EMPs, if you're going for a lot of, you know, to uh, bring up your score per minute, work really good as well and piss people off. Nobody likes getting EMP. It doesn't terribly do a lot, but nobody likes getting EMP. Get off my flag. So, so yeah, so in this one, and you also notice, like, I'm not running a, uh, a sidearm, per se. I'm running, right here, the equivalent of the Stinger. Just because you get 75 points per, that's not too bad. And for the most part, when I'm running this, I'm not running Ghost. And I'm not running a Silencer. So I'm going to come up on a UAV as soon as it comes up. And honestly, nothing pisses me off more than knowing I'm on the map. Like, it literally drives me nuts. I, I hate knowing that somebody could see me. And if it's somebody who plays like me who's consistently watching the mini-map, which I'd recommend everybody to do or, and get used to doing... Uh, I'm running around knowing I'm just in plain sight. Like I get, I even get paranoid about it. Uh, it's it's horrible actually. So you know, as soon as I hear it's up, I literally pull that stinger out. Even if I'm getting shot, I'm pulling that thing out because I'm like, I don't want to be on the map. I want my privacy. Guy coming up through front door. Yes, I I'm paranoid. There's no doubt. <laughs> so yeah, so 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 I'm typically running that when I'm running the no perks, no attachments. And if anything, if I run out, I try to pick up a gun when I'm getting close. Um, but honestly, you know, it, it's 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 tough with the no perks and no attachments. And I don't always expect to live very long, specifically on maps like this and how I'm choosing to play with the assault rifles. I, I try to rush with them and I try to show that you can rush with them. Um, there are cases where I sit back and you'll probably see in videos, especially for the long shots, which just suck and you, you know you can only get them on certain maps in certain areas you have to play that you know I'm laming with the target finder and I'm having to sit back but for the most part I still like running around and and you can do that with these assault rifles and I'm doing that currently with the uh, the M27 and I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit um, and I'll be bringing you those videos and what I've been trying to do is actually record just about every game I'm playing with these and then showing some progression. Sometimes I didn't get all the record, but a lot of the times I did. So, yeah, I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Um, I recorded the game already, so a lot of these I might not do commentary over unless you guys really want. And you can listen to just the garbage and shit talk, the guys I play with, and what typically happens. Um, it isn't always always me, you know, me bitching. But, um, and there's some funny stuff that comes out of some of these games, just in some of that dialogue. But if you guys don't want to hear that and you'd rather hear my tall ass talk over this, by all means, I can do that. Or I can hand it off to some of my other <laughs> friends to talk over. Look at this. I get the bouncing Betty in there. Yeah, it still doesn't kill him. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. And if you think this is even a cool idea. Um, I know some people just end up showing one vid and they say, Hey, you know, that diamond camo and this is what it looks like. But, um, you know, on all these before you get diamond, you got to go gold. So this is... Typically, uh, yeah, a path to gold, but at the end of the day, the idea is to get diamond on all these. And whether or not I use them again is going to be another story. But for right now, I am using them. So, so you're going to have to deal with this a bit. Uh, and then as I go on, it'll be each one doing the same thing, and I'll try to post them in a series. And, and like I said, right now is the foul, and I'm not very far off from getting this gold so you'll see the rest of these foul gameplays i might talk over one or two but for the most part it might just be uh the uh listening to hilarity ensue in game and uh yeah so let's see what do we have here 200 uh, 110 playing with a bunch of my otc friends old timers clan give them a check out on the web they're 
awesome group of guys. 33 and 22. 13 defends on a three bar. That just happened. And with that, kids, I'm out.